right behind me. Below me. So... Is that a shelf that I can get on top of? Oh, is it down there? No. We can't go down. I might have to just leave this place. It's probably right where I have to go. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello there, mister. Little guy. Um, we're at 664. Crap. Alan confuses Robot Boy. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's, uh, no. No! Oh no. Where is it? Is it coming for me? Oh crap, no! Son of a... Stop it! Don't tell me you can go through that. Stop. Come on, we're gonna die. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna hide. Get out, you dummy. Get out, hurry. Nope. Help me. <laughs> Are you serious? This thing is OP. Hell out of here, man. Better not go through walls. Woo! Oh man, this thing's about to die. Uh, so... Get out of here. <laughs> ah, crap. Don't go down there. All right, so. I don't want to be here anymore because we need... I, we need nickel. You're allowed to... If there's nickel here, tell me. That's all right. Whoa. In fact, you're allowed to tell me exactly where there's nickel. I'm alright with that. Because I haven't seen nickel at all. Also, you're allowed to tell me if I'm allowed if I can climb up to that from that side. Or if I have to go back up first and then get to that. <laughs> it's fine. Backseating mode is now on. As long as it doesn't become a constant, like, do this, do that, do this, do that. You know? The red spore area under the lily pads has nickel. Okay, sweet. Really? 
It's crazy. Alright. So back up to where I was, where I started from. Which is this way-ish. Oh, the Allen? There's another one? Oh. Actually, hang on. Is there a... Um... Three nickel. I want to make this. Like, the prawn is cool, but I don't like actually, like, hanging out in the prawn for this long. But I guess we're probably going to have to, right? To get to the deepest areas. So I think that was another one. There's actually a uh, second Void Leviathan in here. Oh, hi. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like we need to get nickel first before I really explore this area. I don't want to dive around and then get one shot by a Void Leviathan. Come on, stuck. Where are you? I feel like, yeah, this area is more... We're here too early, basically. We need both depth, bleh, both depth upgrades. I can't talk. Uh, get on top of the crystal. Now. Oh, hey. Big Nasty wants to... Are you, like, right above me? Oh, what the hell? Where the hell did you come from? Did you go through the wall? Stupid. Or did you come from below? There's 70... They look like humongous came from behind. Did he? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Damn it. I have no torpedoes. <laughs> Actually. Something. Uh. Oh, I have it on me. Don't eat me. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Where am I? We're gonna go up there, or where's up? Ugh. What the hell? No! Yeah, I'm trying to get out of here. I want to go up. Oh, crap. Really? Why do you see me? I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> Go away. All right, so. Oh, hi. 
Is there an up around here? It doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just roof. So that's back down. Where the hell's out? Do I have to go down to get up? Now I'm all turned around. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think I go up this way. You suck. No. Stay away. <laughs> uh, turn that way. Or, I mean, okay. You could do that too and die. It's okay. Yeah, coming here with no way to defend myself, not a good idea. What the hell, dude? Why are you so fast? Help! <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, we're back at the beginning. Still, let me wait a little bit. He can tank two more hits. Just in case. I, I don't think it's going to come all the way this way, but... Alright, so where's PK-8? Alright. All right, Andrew. See ya. Hello, Poi Poo. Hope you're having a nice day. Is it repaired? Oh. Yes. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I'm glad you're not dead. Because then I would be dead. Oh yeah, I did die, didn't I, earlier, right? By the ice worm, and I never picked up anything that I may have dropped. Whatever. You built a base here. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Maybe. A little bit out of the way, but I guess it depends on how much you go down in there. Uh. If you have a room right above one of the vents, it gets wrecked. Yeah, nice. Alright, so... Musical story. Uh, no. Docking. Oh, yeah, this is what we need. Nice. Cool. So haven't I already been down here? I think I have. Yeah. Right? Yes. Well, we're nowhere near there. I don't know. I 
I feel like we're just going in circles. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Yeah, we went like, whatever, around this. I need food. You know what? Yeah, let's just go get a nickel. And then make these depth upgrades so I don't have to worry about being too deep or anything. And then I could focus on just exploring without worrying about imploding. Alright. So what kind of game is Musical Story? I don't know if I saw that one. It's probably after I stopped watching the... Hey. It sounds like... an adventure game. A rhythm game? Okay. Cool. Ugh. You unlock memories by doing certain beats. Ah, it's cool. Jeez. Yeah, I haven't really played many rhythm games, but that does sound really interesting. We Ugh. Uh. Charlene, I miss you. Get me out of this slow mech suit. Sweet, sweet home. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Welcome aboard, Captain. What do you want? have been useful. But ultimately, I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still in version 14.0. Whoops. Uh, I guess I should keep some in there. 35, 25, sure. Whatever, keep all that. Health, torpedo arm, posters we need. Okay. Too. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism. 
but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. Oops. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is the the thing with feathers. This does not match any form uh, designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. <laughs> Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune. Whatever. Okay. Tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Ellen. Adding hope to your database. Back. Oh. Hope. They sit. Oh, yeah, it's that button. Come on. I think that's pretty good. Slow up. Yes. That's right. All right. What was that? Hope. Hope is an Emily Dickinson. Okay. There we go, guys. Poetry. Yeah. They're both the most interesting posters I've seen, but this one is, of course, we need needed that one. All right. Now, uh, do I have anything else I need to drop off? I guess some of this water and stuff. Um, blah, blah, blah. We need food. So let me go do that, I suppose. Man. Everything else. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, oops. Brown, 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 brown. Let me do. We need that, and we need that. So we need three kyanite. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, didn't I have kyanite? Wait a minute. Did I miss it? I thought I had a bunch. Did I use it for something else, I guess? Ah, oh, crap. Really? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, fine. Uh... Oh yeah, and we have the docking thing too. Can I make that right now? The docking upgrade. Wait, did we get all of it? No. Ah. Oh. oh well. All right, so we're looking for nickel. Nickel was underneath the lily pads. Which is like this way, I think. All right, Skeen. See you later, buddy. Have a good one. Good night. Thank you. Food lasts a little while, so I'm not too concerned with it, but... Wait a minute, am I going the wrong way? Whoops. I think I am. I thought it was right around where the crystal caves were. What the hell is that? Uh, it's a... Man, all right, so where are we? We're over here, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
so Delta is in front of us. Bai is over there. Uh, okay, so Delta is in front of us. We're over here. I don't know. I can't direction right now. So this is this. I feel like I've barely explored this game. But I guess there's nothing. This is the end over here. So, we're, no, all right, I was going the right way, but I might as well look around the edges of the entire world, since I feel like I've barely explored around here, it's a very, very chill game, cool. What kind of music, like, uh... Whoa. What kind of music do you... Is in it, basically? Here. I must eat you. Or kill you. Come here! There is no escape! Alright. Thanks for the follow. Querial. Korea. Sorry, I saw an L at the end, but there's none. <laughs> Slow rock. All right. Whoops. And then here, is there anything? No. Okay. Maybe. So I never went in here, I think. Look at this. It's a whole area. Unless this is where the uh, jellyfish are. This spy is over there. All right. Never mind. Yeah, this is the jellyfish area. Okay. Something from the time of Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Papa Neat, thanks for the follow. Psychedelic rock, blues rock, hard rock. Nice. The wall of ice. Sweet. This is a nice area.
Yeah, I like it. I don't like it as much as the first one. Um, but it's it's still Subnautica, so therefore I like it. The first Subnautica is one of my favorite survival open world games of all time, so. Very hard to beat that one. Uh, I played them for the first time back to back a few weeks ago. Nice. What did you think between both of them? Yeah? You get what I mean? The first one is just like so perfectly done, in my opinion. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, wait, is this leading back to where I... Whoa. Yeah. I don't know. Just the way the story and everything leads you through the first one. I mean, it's still open world. You can still just head out in any direction and explore as long as you can go deep enough, but they just did that better in the first one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here. This is the island, or the glacier, I guess. I was hoping there'd be something else down here, down there. All right, let's go back down. Whoops, sorry, fish. Yeah. Well, this one originally was going to be a DLC. And then they expanded it into a full game. So I think that may, may have played a part into why it's more uh, condensed. And you definitely, the pacing is a little bit off in this one. First one, I think, had perfect pacing. This one, you find certain things really, really early. And then you wander forever trying to find other things. Well, I do anyway. Uh, is this like... Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, don't need to do that. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to rush this, but... Like I said, I have to beat this this weekend. So, God, get out of my way. It's just... Ugh. I don't know. I like these environments a lot, but... I feel the pressing urgency of time and having to finish this. So, I don't even know how much longer I have. I just, I find it harder to explore this one or to make progress faster because I just get lost in this one. The world doesn't feel as memorable to me as far as like remembering where all of the materials are. I spent one stream just like lost the whole time trying to find silver, trying to remember where I found silver. Now we're, you know, kind of just randomly exploring, but also trying to make our way to the lily pads to find nickel. I haven't even seen nickel yet, but I was told that's where it is, so. At this point, I don't mind skipping, like, much. Or a lot. I feel like I've seen most of it. It's weird, also, the story in this one, how it... If it feels conflicted, it feels like it wants to be two different stories. Like, 
I mean, we came here to find out answers about our sister, and then now it's like nothing about that at all, really. Right now, just looking for nickel, I guess. We're trying to find a lily pad biome, which I think I'm going in the right direction now. <laughs> 